Do you see this cloud behind me? I expose until uh, it's not blown out anymore. And this uh, custom picture profile gives you the best uh, dynamic range. It's late in the evening anyway, it's not so harsh light. So in this evening I'm walking with my family a little bit and I shoot some uh, images in log tree pic picture profile. I will show you how, how I color grade this uh, picture profile, it's not heavy. Let's uh, just jumping in the Premiere Pro and I show you how I color grade my uh, log tree picture profile. So I have here three clips from the video from YouTube. And here to the evening when I was gone with my family, traveling a little bit. And uh, here with my daughter, I was filming on the gimbal. The color grading is not a, a difficult process. It's, it's quite simple. Somebody asked me about uh, DaVinci Resolve, if what color space to choose. But I really don't know what to say because I use Premiere Pro and uh, yeah, let's start it. How I do usually it's simple. I go here to the, this, this, these are the only lookup tables, lots what uh, I use. And I chose from here, for example, this uh, D21 D-Log. Look, already give you a nice look. I push a little bit the saturation if I want. Uh, maybe highlights a little bit down and uh, contrast and already it's a nice uh, already it's a nice image you see what's simple and everything what I what I what I did is uh, saturation contrast and a little bit highlights down this is 4k clip by the way it's shot in 200 with a Canon 250D in 4K, and this is everything what I did. Let's see now. We can check the skin tone if it's uh, okay. Just take a triangle, push here. Go to the lumetric scopes. Go to the vector scope, and uh, watch here if the skin tone. The skin tone have to be aligned here with this uh, between uh, red and yellow, and it's perfectly there. You can, if it's too much in the pink side, in the red side, you have to take it a little bit more to the green to go there, exactly in the middle. And now we have a nice, uh, perfect skin tone skin tone colors okay the next I just can copy and paste lumetric color here and will be already perfectly see the colors are already perfect but for example if I wanted to give uh, a little bit another look to this image for example we can take a adjustment layer just put over the clip or how I usually do many times is just I nest this clip and uh, I use over another uh, lumetri color panel and now um, can go to the color wheels and uh, change the shadows towards blue a little bit mid tones to the yellow maybe more highlights I don't know maybe to the green a little bit you can play with this to to get a, a nice look how you like overall it's it's not a, it's not hard to to color grade this uh, image but look now what nice uh, warm uh, color have the the image and the skin tones is perfect and so on uh, same I can drag this adjustment layer over the second clip and look 
without the adjustment layer, without the second grading, with second grading. Look what nice uh, warm um, color give. So this is the next. Uh, a same. You can choose from here one. Uh, ah, by the way, uh, not uh, not always working these uh, lookup tables from here. What are uh, inside Premiere Pro? Here, for example, was um, a cloudy day. That was a uh, harsh light, harsh sun, and harsh uh, shadows. But when you have a uh, harsh light, uh, sometimes can be these lots from here can crush the the image, crush the colors. It can be too powerful. And uh, yeah, let's check one from, for example, from Alexa. Um, from the first or the second, what is not so intense. Uh, let's check the first. Bring a little bit saturation down. And many times you have to look because the some uh, lookup tables they uh, tend to to crush the highlights of the image. For example, here you not see this uh, line anymore from the from this electrical cable, but with the this lookup table applied, you not see this uh, line anymore. So means that the was too much crush the the highlights. What I like to do if I like to have information in the clouds, I chose to grade manually. I usually start with the contrast, uh, a little bit highlights down, shadows down, a little bit color till the maximum if is possible. I go to the curves and from here I give more much contrast. Something like this. And look now how it's uh, I have the all details on the highlights on the sky. I keep the details on the sky. So and from here I can actually it's already it's already a nice, nice image. To go to the second, um, when it's late in the evening, with the sun was from the left uh, face of her. Um, okay, let's apply one lookup table and already look nice. Look too much um, pink in uh, her skin tone. What I will... Uh, Actually, I uh, take from the tint and I move towards green. I uh, give the shadows a little bit, maybe exposure, highlights a little bit down. And uh, yeah, maybe because it's late in the evening, I change the temperature more to the to the right, something like this. And I'm happy how look this image already. Or I take one adjustment layer and I try to go to the color wheels, blue in the shadows a little bit towards green, mid-tones. Mid-tones, you must know that is a skin, uh, skin color. It affect the more much the mid tones, the skin. So like this, the highlights maybe uh, it's okay. Here you apply the intensity or down intensity of the of the color, and I'm happy how look now. Now look nice. Maybe a little bit more yellow. Saturation not so much and look super okay. Now to my daughter here. I copy and I paste directly. And look already what nice look. Without to sacrifice the 
I have the all information on the sky. If I uh, pull down the highlights, I I can see more much information on the sky and a little bit of shadows and contrast. Yeah, and maybe give a little bit more pink. And I can go to the color wheel to change the sky color a little bit to more teal color, how it's used in, in films. And here I can take the highlights down a little bit and overall it's very nice how looking now. Maybe a little bit saturation and yeah. I'm happy with this image. Now before and after. Before and after. Same for here. I can just here I copy. I paste the next one and already I have a nice image. Maybe it's too bright. Take the shadows a little bit down. Maybe highlights on. And yeah, it's already a very nice image. This camera uh, have a great uh, image. And by the way, you don't must uh, believe always that uh, such a flat picture profile um, it's not good for the 8-bit um, color. It's it's okay. It's very good. I uh, made this picture profile because in a standard picture profile of uh, what camera I have inside from Canon or in neutral picture profile, when you shoot, it's always too much contrasty and too much color. The skin tone especially. Uh, it's always too red or too pink or is exaggerated and that's why you cannot get such colors uh, with uh, on the neutral picture profile or in the standard picture pro profile what is more contrasty than neutral for example i forgot to shoot uh, for uh, comparison a couple videos on the standard and neutral picture profile to show you what I mean but I'm sure you know when you shoot with this camera in the neutral picture profile or standard picture profile always you have very contrast uh, image and you never can almost never can apply one uh, one uh, lookup table one lot over the image because will be will be crushing everything too much. So this flat picture profile, if you apply, for example, one very extreme like Ari Universal HD from, from here, from uh, Premiere Pro, because it's so flat, the images, they are ready to play with the colors. For example, here, I um, give a little bit more color and now we have a nice uh, like a more filmic look um, yeah already this image is, is perfect from the first time look how it was before and how is after and let me check maybe I find now one video what was shoot in a standard picture profile or in neutral picture profile I think I find it I put now this picture this this is shoot in 4k the same with Canon 250D in 4k 25 FPS in a standard picture profile this already is a finished image maybe you can make the highlights a little bit down and the saturation a little bit more but if you wanna apply a lot, will be everything destroyed. The highlights will be too much crushed there. You will not have no information to bring back. 
the shadows the same you cannot use uh, lookup tables on this uh, image but on this image you can use very easy lookup tables because it's so flat the lookup tables will not affect the image but this because it's so contrasty already from the camera when you apply a lot already it's crushed everything and you not uh, you not get back no information you the highlights are lost so it's not recommend it's not uh, recommended these pictures profiles they are recommended to use without lookup tables just so a little bit color grading and uh, yeah I think it's done a little bit maybe more saturation so I think this is a neutral picture profile yeah this is a neutral picture profile and this was in the evening and the cloudy day but if it's sun outside if it's very harsh light you get more crushed blacks and more crushed uh, highlights so it's very hard even naturally to get a nice exposed image in this in this uh, neutral uh, picture profile or standard picture profile but with this log tree flat picture profile you can get a nice uh, image when you apply some little adjustments and it's already done the image is already done this is what i wanted to show you about uh, how i color grade these images from log tree it's not heavy it's very very easy to color grade you just must expose very good and look for example one more time with my daughter here just manually without no lookup table contrast uh, temperature um, a little bit saturation to the curves uh, a little bit like this to create very nice contrast maybe highlights a little bit down maybe saturation more shadows to the creative here you can go to the vibrance a little bit play with saturation if you want more saturated and it's, it's very simple it's just little tweaks and the the image is already done it's already nice or you go to apply a lookup table for example this ARRI universal hd this is very nice the same um, this is a very strong um, lookup table this if you use this lookup table over a, a standard or neutral picture profile will be everything crushed blacks crush it and highlights crush it and now what i like to do is to push the saturation highlights a little bit more down maybe i go to the cars like this and look what nice image i have already with just couple tweaks okay guys uh, so see you in the next video i hope uh, this video helped you with one idea how to color grade this uh, nice picture profile and uh, yeah see you in the next video ciao